I'll see you. Go and tell him that I'm not in my hotel. I don't tell him, more, but he know here. Since when you travel, I say they here, they disturb neighbors. Hello, Chief. How are you? I'm sorry, Chief. I'm in the middle of a family meeting. Yes. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye. She devil She devil She wants to destroy Greater for those who persevere and trust in their God. For God never forsakes his own. He will always look after your people. You shall see what your son shall become.
She wants to destroy your life She wants to take your luck Beware of she devil Beware of she devil She devil difficult for me to interpret it. What? What is it all about? It's about you. You, you transformed into a, a kind of mermaid. You see, I am worried because I think I saw a similar thing in the mirror last night. You did? That's quite a revelation coming from ordinary you. I'm so sorry. Who are you? Who are you? Mind if I search with you? I do, as you can see, I'm busy. Okay, I just wanted to kind of sit with you and just chat with you for a while. Like I said, um, I'm busy. Okay, can I have your number so that I could call you sometime? Forgive me, but I do not give my numbers to strangers. Stubborn. 
He's being difficult, Your Majesty. <laughs> Is that all? Yes, Your Majesty. Shed up, my queen. Is this not the man? Yes, Your Majesty. That's him. It's all right, Sherry. I got it from me. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. How may I help you? Won't you at least ask her to sit down? Forgive my impudence, I'm so sorry. Please do sit down. Thank you. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. My God, you are a beauty. God must have taken extra time while creating you. I have seen beauty, but yours is unadulterated, straight from the master of creation. What's your name? My name is Evelyn and my friends call me Eve. Eve? Henry. My pleasure. But henceforth you can call me Adam. And whatever fruit you give me, I will definitely eat. <laughs> So funny. Yes, and I can be more than just funny. I know you're here to discuss business, but I do not know if I can have the rare privilege of taking this beauty queen out for lunch. Do you mind? No, I don't. Great. Right away? That's your wish. Alright, then we can wish. discuss whatever business you want over lunch, yeah? Splendid. here long enough. Eh? Come, let's go inside. My Henry does not keep late nights. Even when late business dinners make him return home late, he always calls me. Maybe he had an emergency call at the meeting and he had to leave. I have called all the people that were supposed to be at that meeting and they all said they got there and they didn't see him. I've been trying his line and it switched off. That is strange. Anyway, let us go inside. If by tomorrow morning he is not here, we'll go and report at the police station. Huh? After all, he knows your wedding is a week away from now. Why you can't go inside? 
Oh, wait, I can't sleep now. Nah. What am I going to go and do inside? I can't go inside without you now. Okay, just move a little bit for me. Let me see. So that we we'll wait for you to get. Mama, be careful. Huh? I will. Mm. Okay, I've gone inside now. Huh? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Now she devil. Mama, it's almost 4 30 pm and he's not yet back. I've called his line several times and he refuses to pick it up. I'm worried, Mama. I'm worried. Just calm down. He's my only child, you know. So I am worried as well. But that is not the solution. Let us just pray that he returns safely. What's the problem, darling? What is it? Harry, where have you been since you left for your wedding planning committee meeting? You have kept Kate so worried. You didn't even call to let us know. You really had me scared. Listen, I just want to be left alone. I went out and I came back when I wanted to. That's all. Harry. Have you gone mad? Don't you have feelings anymore? Can't you see you have kept Kate so worried for all the while? Mama, what is this? Why are you talking to me like this? Huh? What is it with Kate anyway? Every time Kate this, Kate that, Kate that, Kate this, am I Kate's slave? Honey, what's the problem? It's all you are the problem. You are the problem. I've had enough of you. This is my house my house and i deserve a right to do whatever i wish jesus christ you know what you know you know what the problem is i think coming back home is the problem oh, yes oh. that is it i think i just better go back to where i go from because i'm happy there That's harry nice. hey. it's okay it's okay maybe he had a very bad day not to worry he will soon come back by again. 
Yeah. Keep this suit inside. That all of a sudden you get irritated at the main mention of Kate's name. Huh? Have you forgotten that your wedding is just around the corner, one week away? Mama, what is it with you? I don't seem to understand you anymore. Why are you always forcing Kate down my throat? Eh? Are you trying to tell me now that we cannot have a normal conversation without Kate's name coming up all the time? Eh? Henry, Kate is the girl you love. She is the girl you have been hurting so much lately. Kate is the girl you should go and apologize to immediately. I do not owe her or anyone else any apology. Moreover, I have a reason for calling you here. And the reason is that um, I am calling off the wedding. What did you just say? You heard me, Mama. I said... I am calling off the wedding. Now, I want you to go tell her in um, the best way she will understand that I want her out of my house, latest tomorrow. <laughs> Harry, my son, I never knew you had such a beautiful sense of humor. But I will advise you to stop throwing expensive jokes like that around. Because if she hears it now, she will think you are serious. I am not joking, Mama. I am serious. Meaning what exactly? Meaning that I have found a woman after my heart. I have found a beautiful woman that I'm in love with now. And I know you will like her too, Mama. Yes. She's the one I want to marry. To fear what? Henry, are you aware of what you're trying to do? Wait, you mean you want to dump such a virtuous girl for who? Evelyn. Her name is Evelyn. The love of my life. The apple of my eye. The most beautiful... Shut up! But you are... Heaven forbid bad thing. Are you aware of what you are trying to do? You want to bring shame upon our family? Henry, are you sure you are in your right senses? I knew this was going to happen. I just knew it. Well, let me tell you something, Mama. If you will not tell her, then I will tell her myself. That it is over between us. It is over between me and Kate. I want her out of my house tomorrow. Henry, I think you need to rest. I will come back when you are okay. Excuse me. Who told you I need a rest? I'm telling you, I do not want her in my house again. You say I need a rest. Nothing I tell you that you accept again. Always going against me. I'm going to marry the kids now. She must leave this house tomorrow.
do to you, my darling? Remember the love we have shared for many years now? Our wedding, our plans for the future. Please, if I have wronged you in any way, please forgive me. Please. <laughs> there is only one space in my heart for the one I love. And you have to come to accept the fact that that space has been occupied by someone else other than you. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to us. The shame, the heartbreak. Please don't destroy my soul like this. Please. Kate, listen to me. Everything, everything in life has a beginning. Likewise, it has an end. Huh? <laughs> Now, you have to accept the fact that this is the end between the two of us. Is that understood? Oh my God. Who is making you do this to me? I do not have to be interrogated by you. All I ask is that you leave my house. Pack your things and leave my house this moment. That's all I ask for. Go! Henry, please. It's okay. It's okay. You are going nowhere. This is your house, okay? Henry, please. She's not going anywhere. And who are you to decide? I am your mother who suffered hunger, deprivation, and insults to make you whatever you are today. What did this innocent girl do to you? It is not by force, Mama. It is by choice. And I have made my choice. Then the choice is stupid if it is against Kate. Kate is leaving my house. And Evelyn is moving in. Period. Evelyn or whatever you call her will not step her foot into this house or I leave never to return. Perfect. So be it. Prepare to live with Kate. What did you say? I said, prepare to live with Kate. You're asking me out of your house. I can't stand those nonsense. Henry, please. Henry. Come on. Come on. The story is not important now. What is most important is that I want you to help me start my life again, okay? Oh, that's why I'm here, please. That's why I'm here. Starting your life again is no problem, David. Oh, thank you. Okay? All right, don't worry, don't worry. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'll just take you home so you can uh, have a change of clothing, freshen up, and then we can go to some more conducive atmosphere and then discuss this. What is wrong? What are you looking at? What is it? Who, who, who is that? That? Uh huh. That's my wife, Molly. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're joking again. Tell, tell, tell me. What are you talking about? Oh, ah, hello, sweetie. Perfect timing, I tell you. Is it? Yeah, we're just talking about you. Um, How you doing? Man. Come meet my best friend. Dave, Dave, that's my wife, Evelyn. Henry, Henry, she, she, she needs her. Dave. Dave! What's wrong with him? Sweetheart, tell this filthy thing to leave this office right now. What? What are you talking about? That's my best friend. Now! 
Dave, get out of my office. Henry, Henry! Henry, come on. This woman is evil, okay? She's going to destroy that one of my friends. When I say get out of my office, oh boy, get out! Henry, come on! Get out of my office! Don't do this to Henry! Henry, get out! Henry, come on! Well done, I'm so sorry about that, Sonia. The guy is truly a nuisance. Okay. Oh. Mm, that's not staying. Yeah, it took a little on. <laughs> I'm silly. No, I like it. You know what? Let's go home. Yeah, I'm done for the day, isn't it? There's not too much. No, no, no. It's okay. Leave it all. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Well, have mercy. place in his heart anymore. No, my daughter. You cannot just live like that and leave the fight unfinished. Huh? Fight for Henry? With whom? Am I can't force him to marry me. Yes, under normal circumstance. But this circumstance is not normal. Listen, my daughter, the devil is at work and we cannot just let him carry the day like that. We can't. What do we do, Mama? We have to see Pastor Nicholas. He's a very powerful man of God. God has used him in the past to win so many battles like this for people. Besides, Harry has a lot of respect for him. So please, just move these things back inside and let us go and see him. Please, my Do it for me. Sister Patricia, are you telling me that Harry proposed to this girl or that you are the one that is forcing the girl on Harry? God forbid, Pastor. See. Look at this. This is their wedding wedding card. They are supposed to be wedding next month. Honestly, Pastor, the whole thing came as a surprise. No quarrel, no fight. Uh, Pastor, please, you really have to help us. What is the girl's name? Evelyn. Yes, Evelyn, that's what he calls her. He's so engrossed with this girl. He doesn't come home. Whenever he's at home, He's so aggressive. Uh, stop, please. Evelyn. That's my Evelyn. Pastor, did you see something? No. Not exactly. It is just that the name sounds familiar. There used to be this sister in this church that the husband divorced because of that um, name. I'm not too sure if she's the same girl. But something tells me that we have a great battle ahead of us. All the same, tell Sister Kate to see me later in the day. Come on, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. your word told us that surely they will gather. But because the gathering is known to you, you will scatter them. Yes. Everlasting thing, we ask you to scatter them wherever they have gathered against us right now. We ask you to speak your confession and let them be discomfited right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. You have showed us in your word in the book of Isaiah that you will cause our enemies to eat their flesh and get drunk in their blood. Everlasting thing, let them begin to eat their flesh right now. Let the pits they have dug consume them. Oh, I don't know. The guy is just disturbing me. He wants the contract so bad. Really? Yeah, it's always very difficult to give out medical contracts because those medical equipments, they, there are too many of those fake ones around these oh, days. Oh, honey. Yeah? I'm hungry. Could you 
you tell your mom to fix something for me to eat, please? Really? Mm -hmm. What would you like to eat? I mean, why don't you tell her yourself? I'm sure she'll oblige you. Ah, uh, no, I can't. You go and tell her yourself. Since I moved into this place, she's not been too happy with me, and you know. Evelyn, I do not want you to be scared of my mother. As my wife, she must respect you. Mm. When is she leaving for the village anyway? I mean, we need some time out to sort ourselves. Yeah, I very much agree with you. But I want you to know this, okay? Everything that is mine is yours, including this house. Really? Yeah, so please let us stay on for a little while longer, okay? Once we are married, my family will be under your feet. Mm. So let's avoid anything that will bring confrontation. Oh, I love you. Oh. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> all right then, let me go get ready for work, all right? All right then. And on my way out, I'll tell her to prepare something for you. Okay. Great. Good morning. Um, I would like you to go into the kitchen and make breakfast for Evelyn, and then you can come back and conclude your prayers, huh? Henry, what did you just tell me? I said I want you to go into the kitchen to make breakfast for Evelyn. Which part of that don't you understand? If you were not a son I love so much, I would have cost you. Don't you have fear or shame? Fear or shame of what? What is it with you, Mama, these days? Huh? What is it with you? Isn't there anything that I would tell you that won't result into chaos? Your life is the only chaos I see, Henry. Huh. Who is this girl anyway that you have chosen to humiliate me because of her? Henry, where was she when we were suffering together? Mama, Evelyn is a woman that I love and I truly love her. And she is my wife to be. You have to learn to respect that. Uh -huh. So your mother is now below her. She wakes up in the morning, eats, drops her makeup and watches TV all day. While your mother runs all the errands in the house, does all the cooking with your wife to be around Henry what manner of a wife to be is she was that how Kate was enough of this Kate rubbish enough raise your voice one more time and I'll cost you Henry mama I am sick and tired of this I am very tired of it if you are not comfortable with Evelyn then there is nothing I can do about it you hear me nothing If not for my Christian faith, I would have asked heaven to blast you with thunder. Watch what you say to me, old woman. 
Hey, in my own son's house. Do you know where you are and who you're talking to? Patricia. Or is there anybody else here? God forbid. My son will never marry you. Then be prepared to go down to your grave because your son is already in my palm. Get out. Get out. Get out, my friend. Get out. <laughs> Your mother, she was just trying to beat me in here when I came to, 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 to do something out there. She, she was trying to get violent with me. Mama, what is this? <laughs> what is the, what's the matter with you? Why are you trying to spoil the love and peace between me and Evelyn? Why do you hate my joy so much, Mama? What is it? Are you insane, Henry? Oh yes, I'm insane. And thank you very much for making me insane. You hear, Mama? Oh, you want to kill me like you killed my father? Ah. Eh? And squander his money with that, uh, that, that pastor, that boyfriend of yours, that pastor Nicholas, or what's his name? It will not happen, not in this house. Do you understand me, Mama? That I did what? Oh, you think I don't know, eh? Look, Mama, you know what? I've had it up to here. I'm sick and tired of you coming between me and my peace. I am tired of you in this house. Now, come and pack your things and get out of my house. Right now. I should do what? Mama, I said get out of my house now! Fuck it, things are in my house! Hey, go! Go away! Leave my house! 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 She wants to go. Go. Beware of she. And get out! Oh! Leave this house now! Go! Mama, no, 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 you have Don't let me get violent with you. Mama, move. Henry, please! Go, 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 go! Go! Yes, yes, we're back. Henry, please! Please, Henry! and Sister Kate out of the house is unbelievable. Mm. All the same, I will ask you to come down. Master. Master, you have to help me win back my son from those evil people. You know how I suffered to see him through university after the death of my said you have to relax. God is a church. And this is actually a battle of faith. It is only those who have faith and believe in their God that shall win this. Do you believe in God? Yes. Yes, Pastor, I do believe.
We shall confront the devil and let's go watch this. And one thing I can assure you, if we have the victory already for the cross of Calvary. By the way, where is this gate? This is my church. Good. Tomorrow, we shall visit them. But I will request that let me have today for me to be able to prepare myself. Reproduction from the great master himself. See! As you eat it, you shall start ovulating. Tonight, Henry shall sleep with you, and you will conceive. Then, you will kill him. Kill him? Of course. Your Majesty, who then will be the father of my son? The father is the great master of the secrets of old. Lucifer. He is the Antichrist. He shall rise like a colossus. He shall dominate and manipulate the world to his final doom. So that the world may believe, believe, believe. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Farewell. Yes, May peace of the Lord be upon this house. God bless you, Brother Henry. Pastor. To what do I owe this visit? And why did you come with these things? By the way, how did you even get into my compound? Maruf! Brother Henry. Maruf! Brother Henry. We bring you help from the source of all good things, the Almighty God. And we come with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation of your soul. Look, Pastor. I'm in a hurry right now. Perhaps next time. Brother Henry. There might not be a next time, for this is your own hour of grace. Please, listen to the voice of God. You know something, Pastor? I am not caught out for all this Bible reading and verse quotings and all this Pentecostal jargons right now, okay? Henry, my son, it is important to listen to the pastor. Your boyfriend, you mean? Huh? I will not listen to him, nor you, nor any one of you. Have you heard me? Now, please, leave my house this minute, right now. 
Get out of my house, please. Just go, all of you. May the Lord have mercy upon your soul. For I know it is the evil one that speaks blasphemy through your mouth. But I tell you, it has been revealed to me that there is a grave danger hovering around you. <laughs> but I, Henry, you need deliverance. You need deliverance very, very fast from the grip of the enemy before he drags you into internal condemnation. <laughs> Apparently, my mother and Kate has been uh, feeding you with lots of nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Mr. Pastor, if you are talking about my wife, Evelyn, then you have misfired. And especially about her. And most importantly, it is for your salvation. You need deliverance. Mm. I need deliverance. Look, Pastor, look, 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 look. I am not one of those fanatics that you mesmerize with your so-called speaking in tongues and at the end of the day, they would, they would uh, donate money to you. Do you understand me? I am too educated and enlightened for such. I know. That is what they usually say until they have an encounter with God. Brother Henry, you are filled with demons and you need deliverance very fast. Ah. Go ahead then. Lay your hands on me. Perform your magic. Let's see if I will fall. Huh? Go on. Do it. But I can assure you, I will not fall. You know why? Because you are a fake pastor. Really? Are you sure you can contain the power of the Holy Ghost when I release it upon you by laying my hands? Look, Pastor, I am not interested in all this your Holy Ghost blah, 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 blah nonsense, okay? You are the one who is going to fall. I will not fall. You are all witnesses here. You will see. All right. Let's see what you got. Be prepared. For I place you under arrest in the mighty name of Jesus. <sighs> on earth is released in heaven. Therefore, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I light it up with fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I am told you by Jesus who I am and who I serve. I command you to come out of him. Come out of him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Make your prayer. Make your prayer. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I release the blood of Jesus upon you. I release the blood of Jesus upon you. I release the power of the Holy Ghost upon you. Don't break every chain of bondage this right now. Don't break every chain of bondage this right now. May us attack him in the hole. Stop! A mortal enemy has set him to derail our plans. There is war. Evelyn, you have to go and rescue him at once. At once, Your Majesty. At once. <laughs>
I see those deposits. But it does not belong to this vessel. For this is a vessel of honor unto the Holy Ghost. Therefore, I adjure you by Jesus who I am and who I serve. I command every deposit that is not of the Almighty God to begin to move right now. Begin to come on right now. Begin to come on right now. Amen. Begin to come on right now. Amen. 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 the name of Jesus. Amen. It is written that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Today, your hour of deliverance has come. You have been set free from the bondage of hell. I command everything that is not of God to move right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ah. Honey, who are these people? What are they doing here? You agent of destruction. The time has come for you to give up what belongs to the Almighty God. I see you in the spirit realm. I know what you are, and I know where you're coming from. But I tell you what, every man and every woman under the sun of the Lord today is shielded from whatever thing you want to pass onto them. Whatever thing you're sending to me, I send it back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah!
came back like a roaring lion seeking who to destroy. And you cannot. Thank you. 
heaven and you own the earth. Indeed, the word of God has not been wasted. For this is the justification we have. The blood that is speaking for us daily and pleading for us on your throne of grace. We thank you because you are God all by yourself. Let your name in all be glorified. Let your name in all be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Henry, you have been set free. You have been set free. You have been delivered from the clutches of the evil one. Hey! The blood of Jesus is speaking for you. Oh, congratulations and welcome back home. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, mommy water. Now she dead. 